Good morning everyone. I hope you can see uh, the table because it is early morning. Well, when I say early, it's 10 to 7 in the morning. <laughs> early start today. Now, <coughs> excuse me, Julie and I yesterday, we went to York and um, that's at the York race course where they hold the miniature fair. Or one of the miniature fairs and we try and get there every year. Now this year, because I'm doing so many box, you know, the rooms. Uh, I'm, and themes, I'm trying to collect as much as I can. So I'm, um, I'm on about, not so much furniture. The uh, gardens. So I looked and looked and looked and I managed to pick up quite a few bits and pieces. Uh, for the garden as well as some other odds and sods so I'm going to run through them with you really quickly as well as that I managed to get myself some of the very pale um, and it's kind of like this um, FIMO so I'll, sh I'll share that with you in a minute because uh, I want to do some little people so I needed some FIMO and so therefore I managed to get that um, and I don't know what colour that is. I can't see. It's writing's too small for me. I managed to pick up. Look, I only paid a pound for these two little cups and saucers. Even that's expensive to me. But um, you know, I've got them. They were normally you get them. They're empty, and you have to buy the cup and the saucer separate. But these actually had something in them as well. So I thought, well, okay, it says me doing it. So I bought them. So I got one of those. This says five ninety five on it, but I didn't pay that because um, I knocked the bloke down uh, to four pound. So I got that unit for four pound, which is gonna. It's a really old fashioned, old made unit, not like the modern day ones. So this is when it was handmade and crafted properly, and it does have a little shelf inside. And I thought, you know what, get that. So I did. So I managed to pick that up. Then this young girl, now I'll have to tell you who she is, if I can read her writing. Ali Chadwick. Look, at, You'll have to look her up. Ali Chadwick makes uh, miniatures from this gulpy clay. You know, the... Uh, oh, this one. And um, it's in an acorn, half an acorn. She's put a little bit on the bottom. She puts a little bit of bedding in and then she makes the baby. So I'm actually going to try. Now it's coming up Christmas, we, we get these, don't we? So I'm going to get some and I'm going to try and make some myself. And then I'll come back and share that with you. So that's that. Because, I mean, there wasn't just there. Everybody was making them. So um, it's not, you know, copying. But she also makes these. And they are very small. And this is the baby witch, <laughs> which I thought was so, which I thought was so cute. Oh, get it. And I don't know, can you see, look. You've got a little cloak. This one looks like it's got an hunch back. Oh, it's his hood. Uh, but he's also got a little hat. And then that was the winged one. Oh, look, he's got a bum. I didn't see that one when I bought it. Look, he's got a pink bum. <laughs> With his wings on. And he's actually got some fluffy hair. So. Uh, like I say. That was from her. Now I bought two stands. One for a child and one for an adult. Because. Uh, do you remember the kitchen I made? Um, it is still for sale. So please run along to the shop. And have a look. Because we do have them for sale. Um. And I tell you, you'd pay three, four times what you, <laughs> what I'm charging for when I saw the themes there. Oh my God, some of them were really, really expensive. But the stands for the dolls, so I needed an adult and a child and I managed to pick up one of those each. I did find this, uh, this was 60p, a little pot. I'm going to have to show people how to make them. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, that was 60p. The bowl, 
for another kitchen. That would be perfect for the kitchen I'd want. Um, I think that was 50p. So I got a good deal on that one. Because there is a stall that's there every... Sorry, I'm just going to have a drink. There is a stall there that's uh, every year. And they say it's for cancer research and they sell off a lot of uh, miniatures. And we always aim for that because you can pick up some good bargains. See? That girl who made those also made that. So, bacon, eggs and I got a sausage. <laughs> Fill a gap. How much more do you want? I picked these up for a pound, which were the animals, which I don't need in the boxes anymore. I don't need them. They go in my animal drawer and it fits more in if you don't have the uh, packaging. So I got the little Scotty dog. And I bought them because they're more lifelike than the others that I've seen. And for a quid you can't go wrong really. I mean, well to me even a quid's too much. <laughs> So I'm just going to take them out of the packaging because I don't need them in there. And look. So they're just ideal um, to have when I'm doing projects. Here's another one. I have a drawer that says animals and every animal goes in there. Look. Oh, that'll do for a witch, won't it? <laughs> it's a witchy kind of thing. And then these were 50p bags um, uh, and a cat. Looks like a witch's cat, so I bought that one. Now, wait a minute, here's another one. I bought rabbits, cats and dogs. Uh, the black bunny, which I thought was good. Because they were selling them for 3 99 I got it for 50p. Not bad. See, if you look around at these fairs. Look, I got one in white. They're perfect. Nothing wrong with them. In fact, they're quite well made. What's this one? This again, 50p. Let's have a look, see what it is. Oh, I've got two. Oh, it's a bargain. That cat's. And they're great just for putting the side of a fireplace or something like that. And I did get one of these last time I went um, and stood it up against the tablecloth of the witch's table. The cat, look. Who got a face? So that's that one. 50p for this one. What's in here? Oh, I'm doing the children's playroom um, for one of my followers. Um, she pays me per room uh, and they're for her daughter's collection. Look. So that'll go in there. Have a look at this one. A 50p again. Different rabbit. They're cute. They're well made in that. Oh, I love this one. So I did manage to get the Alsatian. Look at that. Just needs darkening there. Oh, no, it doesn't. It was a bit of fluff. I thought it was a mark. Isn't that a beauty for 50p? Well worth it. Um, 50p for the two babies. Which, I do have the dolls, and I could have made. But I got them while they were 50p, you know what I mean? Oh, there's some more, let me have a look at these. Just put that back there. What have we got here? Oh, another rabbit. <coughs> I can go there. Another cat. They are pretty well made. I was quite surprised to have them um, for that price. Oh, another cat. So they're not something I wouldn't ever use. Managed to get the scales and that was £1.20 for the scales. I'm not sure. Yeah, £1.20 for the scales. Because I'm going to be doing um, an apothecary room as well that's that'll be up for sale separate that's uh, some uh, another big room that i'm going to be doing but like i say drop by the shop because um i've got a couple of these baths that's going to be on sale as well Oops. that's that i picked these baths up now 
that looks more battered and yucky but I'm going to keep that one myself and keep and I'm going to put those two on sale uh, I paid a little bit more for those not that one that was a pound but I'm going to keep that one because I like the roughness of it and it's not quite even in fact it's battered <laughs> like it so that's that oh I've got another one here let's have a look 50p again oh another cat um I've done that one I managed, I'm not going to take these out but they were 50p and they're connectors for pipes which I could have done when I was doing the kitchen so that's those and then I bought these for 20p. It was just a bag with wooden bits in and I looked at them and I thought, I got one out and I noticed they're like that. Well, it's a perfect wheel for a wheelbarrow. So I'm going to get Mondi, well Mondi and I is going to make some wheelbarrows and put them on for sale. Isn't that perfect? Or a go-kart. Put a hole through there job's already done so there you go and uh, I hope you like that I loved it we had a fantastic day we had a good laugh met some awesome people um, and then I was invited I was invited by these people to do a demonstration and that's what I'm going to do and that's going to be done in York so, um, there were lovely ladies to talk to and they wanted me to run along and, well, they asked if I would and I said, you have a look at my website and if you think um, it's what you're looking for, oh, sorry, I forgot that one. If, you th if it's what you're looking for, then please do get in touch. Look, that's for the playroom for my customer. Just to go, I'm going to make a stand for it to go on. So that's that, and like I say, um, so it was a productive day yesterday, I enjoyed it immensely. Julie and I always have a laugh. Oh, I've just found that. I got that one for 50p. I have got a batch of these somewhere, you know, and I can't find them. <laughs> can't find them. But yes, and that was 50p as well. So um, I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled to pieces that I managed to pick up lots of goodies for very little money. Um, because I looked around. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.